Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today we are going to be working on my February layout for my reading journal. I'm so excited. It turned out so pretty, and I'm doing a voiceover because my dad was snow plowing outside, and my mom was doing some stuff inside, so kind of had to keep it quiet. <laughs> so I decided to go with like a floral, fun, romantic theme for February since it is the kind of the romance month of the year so I just wanted to, it to be pretty and pink and fun and full of flowers and pretty stuff so I decided to add some really pretty washi tape. I will try to link down some of the items that I used in this video. Uh, unfortunately I really don't remember where I got the washi tape. Um, I probably got it from Hobby Lobby I'm thinking. At least the heart ones probably. <laughs> but um, yeah so any washi tape will do. I shop pretty much at all the craft stores for all the washi tape and all the stickers. So this sticker book is from Michael's Recollection Collection. It came out last year. I don't know if it's still available. Probably not, unfortunately, because they always come out with new stickers. But they had some a really pretty kind of, I think these are like peonies flowers. So I decided to go with like a peonies background since it matched my washi tape that I had, even though it was a different a different collection from the washi tape but it matched really nicely so this is my um, my title page and so I wanted to make it look really pretty it's my title page along with my monthly TBR so we're just gonna look for some pretty stickers and I'm putting two stickers on the right hand side one is for my um, my TBR game which is TBR love triangle kind of funny it worked out the name worked out for this month at least but it's always called TBR Love Triangle so stay tuned for that on Friday I will be picking out some new cards and then I got a few stamps I was gonna use the gnomes but I didn't feel like coloring today so I just stuck with the flowers and then I decided I wanted to do handwriting instead of the stamp for the month because the month stamp was so small like it it just yeah the sticker was just too big to use that stamp so I just decided to hand write it instead so we're gonna go ahead and use my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen it's hard to say but <laughs> I think I pronounce it right but so the month of February and I am a I am a lefty but with hand lettering my my right hand is more steady for some reason and my left hand doesn't get in the way so I tend to do my hand lettering with my right hand and then I go in with my left hand and make it a little bit more neat <laughs> all right so this video was like half an hour long but I cut it shorter for you all so that way you wouldn't be here forever But yeah, so I just darkened the lines, the downstrokes you darken to make it look a little bit more um, calligraphy, like faux calligraphy. It's not complete calligraphy, but <laughs> I usually forget to practice my hand lettering, so I just go for the faux. And then, of course, TBR Love Triangle on the top. And then, in case some of my books aren't picked for the month that I want to read, I have an extra space on the bottom for all of the other books that I want to get to this month and there are quite a few books I want to read this month there are I'm thinking like a good 15 I think 15 to 20 books I want to get to in February so yeah it's gonna be a lot of reading but I'm actually kind of excited most of the books that I want to read are kind of love stories and clean romances so I'm very excited just to have this month to enjoy some cute romances and it turned out so cute. Look how cute this is. So I don't know what books I want to read exactly. Like, I do know some, but I have to wait until Friday with my TBR game to see where I can put my books on this page. And then, of course, I have to add some flowers into the corners. Like, you just have to. You really do. You have to. <laughs> the more stickers, the better, is what I say. And I don't get picked on for not using my stickers. So the more I use my stickers... <laughs> My mom gets picked on. She buys sticker books and she never uses them. So dad says, you have all these sticker books. Why don't you use them? So I make sure I use mine as often as I can. Okay, so this next page, I can't remember what I was putting on. Oh yeah, this is my filming schedule. I flipped back to see what I was supposed to put on the next page because I, I like it kind of in order 
each month, so filming schedule of this month. Okay, so yeah, this page definitely helps me to remember and hopefully come up with ideas for you all for a filming schedule. So I, I believe I drew boxes last month, but I decided to use these fun stickers that I found. They are so cute and so fun. So I think these boxes are absolutely perfect for filming schedules, like not like descriptions, but at least like the title of the videos that I'll be doing or little short ideas. <laughs> and here I'm just measuring to try to get them evenly placed. They're not exactly even, but they're close to it. And I realized the sticker ended up being crooked, so I fixed it later. <laughs> this last one. I mean, it doesn't look crooked, but it's so like the flowers are kind of in weird spots that it, it looks crooked here. And I'm just going to highlight the words up there. I kind of like the highlighting method. I've seen quite a few people do it and it looks like a lot of fun. Alright, so this next spot on the right, I, I left blank last month trying to figure out what I wanted to put here. And then I realized what I wanted to put. I wanted to put my, like, my social media um, growth. But instead, I put social media family because you all are family. And so um, my book family and my journaling family. So I decided to put social media family. And so I think I'm going to put just YouTube and Instagram. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything else. Maybe my book group on Facebook, which I'll link down below if you want to check that out. But otherwise, I think those are the only two thing or three things that I would put here. I don't use Twitter, so I just decided to draw a couple of boxes here, try to make them as even as I could. And I probably should have put like four spaces, because I can't remember if there's four, three or four weeks. It's probably four weeks in February, but um, only three, three boxes fit down the, down the page. So that's what I did. And I left space to write either Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what I did for uh, this month. And I ended up adding it to the last month as well, a little bit later. Okay, and then this page is my end of the month wrap up, I believe. So I just added some fun stickers to this page and just left it pretty much blank other than writing on the bottom here my end of the month wrap up. Or reading wrap up. I forgot what I wrote. Oh, I just put month wrap up, monthly wrap up. <laughs> so I decided to put that down on the bottom. And then I'm not sure. Last month I was gonna do like a whole two page spread for like my favorite book that I read in the month, but I think what I might do is just do monthly wrap up on one page and maybe my favorite book on the right. I'm not sure. Depends on how many books I read during that month, I guess. If I read a lot, then I probably will need both pages. But so pretty. It turned out super duper cute. I forgot to add washi tape on this page because I just wanted it throughout. So I just added a little bit of washi tape to the extra pages and just added some extra fun touches because you know you need some extra extra prettiness to your pages and stickers and washi tape are like the easiest things you can use for journaling like it makes it so easy and it makes it so pretty looking so here's the final look to the journal I think it turned out so cute so I don't don't know why I have that blank page <laughs> I'm sure it's for something um, maybe I skipped a page by accident that would be me <laughs> but if I did leave it blank then I could use it for something else so so if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below.